An amazing thing just happened. We had started looking for a logging company to deliver pine to the homestead. Uh, we obviously plan on milling our own lumber for the actual house build. The, the reason for that is we want to go uh, do this fully cash, uh, debt free. And one of the ways that we can do that is by milling our own lumber, uh, pouring our, our own concrete, doing our own framing, that kind of stuff. Um, electrical, plumbing, etc. And we were willing to pay for the lumber, obviously. Uh, I didn't want to cut any of the, of the trees down on our, on our homestead. I started contacting logging companies recently, in the last two weeks, let's say. Two or three weeks. And I was having a hard time finding a logging company that would be able to deliver pine. See, here in the East Coast, uh, we're in Middle Tennessee. That's eastern, you know, on the eastern seaboard mostly. Um, and there's not a lot of pine here. Uh, there's a lot of pine on the west coast. So, and I, w I wouldn't have minded, you know, bringing pine from the, from the west coast as well. But I was having a hard time finding uh, loggers that would be able to give us what we needed. And I was starting with mostly local stuff and the uh, vast majority are just hardwoods and I, I didn't need hardwoods to build the house and I didn't want to pay for hardwoods to you know build the house. Uh, mostly we build with like you know pine right and you go to the, to the lumber yard and pine is what you're gonna get. Thank you sir. You got a lot of logs. I'm okay you got a lot of logs. I've been looking for a very short amount of time. I had been looking for maybe a week. Made a few calls, didn't get any calls, calls back. Well, got a couple callbacks. Uh, not finding what I needed. A friend of ours does. Uh, construction work for a pretty big construction company. Uh, he helps uh, with a lot of the uh, the dirt work, excavation, etc. And uh, his wife contacts my wife, Sarah, and says, "Hey, do you need these these, uh, these logs?" And sends a picture, a few pictures along with them. Now, these logs are massive. I'm talking about massive, they're, they're, they're a good size log, 10 to 12 feet each, and it's this massive pile. We're looking to build the uh, the house and mill our own lumber, and so a couple things first. We've been praying a lot about this. Obviously, one of the reasons why we uh, wanted to do this is we need to be good stewards of uh, the resources that God has given us, and it's pretty clear that we are much better off debt free. We're much better off when we don't owe somebody else uh, to live, right? 
Uh, granted, we're always going to have to pay, you know, taxes, property taxes, etc. Uh, can't get away from that anytime soon. Why the heck are we paying a bank though, right? Why are we paying somebody else to live? Uh, you put a mortgage on a house, and let's say you put a 30 year mortgage on a house, you're paying double what the house is worth. You, you buy a $300,000 house, you're paying 600,000 at the end of it. Maybe a little bit less, but still, you get my, you get my point. Granted with inflation and all those things, you're basically sort of breaking even, but still the value goes down of the dollar, the value goes up to the house, you're screwed either way. So, uh, we have been gifted this lumber, I have to pay for delivery, transportation, etc. We have made the decided intentional effort to build this with cash. Uh, we've paid off our vehicles and we bought the truck with cash. Uh, these are hard things to do uh, because that's a lot of money going out and um, it, it would be easy to say okay we're just gonna finance it um, but at the end of the day is it really easier because it's 30 years of your life uh, are you do you really want to amortize 30 years of your life 15 years of your life over something that you can do yourself I don't know. You have to ask yourself that question. But for me and my family, we're not willing to do that. Uh, we're willing to work hard, sacrifice, um, build a house with cash in a couple of years, save a lot of money by doing it ourselves. So that's 24 in center, we go three quarters over.
know too much, but. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is something that we've been doing for the last thousands and thousands of years. It was normal for somebody to build their own house. Only in the last hundred years or so was it abnormal for somebody to build their own house. Even a hundred years ago, you'd buy a house build package from a catalog. That is where the craftsman houses came from, right? Why the heck aren't we doing that today? Uh, we've found it more valuable to work a desk job for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. How many times do you refi? I don't even know. And for what? So that you could be a slave to your job, to your house? I say, let's stop that cycle now. Let's start building our own houses. I think the world would be a lot better place for it. That's just my two cents. Anyway, let's keep building. And you have a blessed day.